So Creative Strings Workshop started out as a program only for adults, and then I realized uh, about six or seven years ago that we should take everything that we're doing and make it available to kids in the area. And um, so I'm really excited now because now that we're up in Delaware, Ohio, we can actually serve some of the kids from Delaware, which is where I went to high school. But also we have kids from all around Central Ohio that are coming up here to this beautiful campus on Ohio Wesleyan. And we've broken them into different groups. So we've got some kids that have only played for a year or two, and some kids that have played for several years. And uh, now those kids get to come four days out of the week and do um, just a half day program. But they get to interface with a lot of these wonderful guest artists that people are coming from all over the world to see. So we're, we're really excited about this development of the youth track and uh, kind of evolving that every year. Now this year we have two guest artists who are working pretty much exclusively with the kids, um, Diana Ladio and Nicole Yarling. Nicole Yarling is from Miami and she's a fabulous singer and a fabulous violinist. She does a lot of, she does a lot of different styles from blues, jazz, R&B, and, uh, and world music of different kinds. She's a great teacher. She, you know, the kids really respond to her. Also, Diana Ladio kind of specializes in working in Appalachian derivative styles, or whether it's Celtic music, Appalachian, old time fiddle, bluegrass, or related styles to that. So with Diana and Nicole are sort of going back and forth, trading off, working with the two different uh, groups of kids and they're developing repertoire to perform on Thursday but in addition to the repertoire that the kids will be developing in their groups they're also going to have special clinics every day where they learn something new and that could be like about improvisation or it could be about like fiddle styles bowing or like integrating singing into what you play or composing music so there are all these kinds of new ideas that that they're not going to get from classical music. And I kind of see the kids program or the youth track as an opportunity for Central Ohio youth to continue playing their instruments over the summer in between school year. Because a lot of them play in their school programs but they don't have anything to do to, to stay fresh during the summer. It's also a way to get them more motivated and excited about playing music because they get to focus on creativity, their personal voice, and they also get to um, focus on different styles of music. 
whether it's rock music, Appalachian, blues, jazz, you name it. 